Well, it's my day off today and it's my commie chef's turn to make a whole meal short crust pastry. So I'm just going to leave them to it. Hunting, fighting, fishing, demolition, and playing rugby league. While my wife's out doing all of that, I like to be in here, in the kitchen, making her favorite pastries. So guys, I'll assume you've all vacuumed the house and washed your hands and ironed your favorite apron. Let's get started And Cooking for Men 101. Today, wholemeal pastry. To start with, We need the rest. Right out of breath. Woo! To start with, you'll need one cup of wholemeal flour. We'll put that in now, shall we? Why not? We'll see. <laughs> one cup of other flour. Plain flour. Plain flour. Okay. Don't need to measure it. Just drop it all in. Is that a whole cup in there already? That's a whole cup. I've done it all for you. I usually have a little bit more. Okay, apparently that's a whole cup, so we'll put that in there too. So that's two cups. We put in a little pinch of salt. Forgotten the measurement, but we'll just dash it in there a little bit. Quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Thank you, voice from nowhere. Okay, and we'll just swish that because I've forgotten what I do next. Use okay. your wooden spoon to stir it. Wooden spoon to stir it. Thank you, voice. Lovely. Okay. So we, we stir that a little bit, then we need to add in 125 grams, 125 grams of chilled butter straight from the fridge. Make sure it's chilled. If it's not, you'll be in trouble. I will be checking. Okay, here we go. 125 grams, all nicely cubed. Cubed. Okay, in we go. Here we go, and what we're going to do is try and remember what we do next. We get this flash thing, called a thingy flashy thing, and... You're going to thingy the butter into the flowers bit. Okay, I can't remember what it's called. Crumb it, that's right, you crumb it in. It's not crumbing, it's cutting the butter into your flour. You're cutting the butter in. What we're going to do next is cut the butter into the flour. Now this will take me a couple of minutes. What we do is, with this, if you're using this, just cut in slowly and try and rip into it. Cut it around, just take the time, put your favourite song on, reminisce about your wedding day. Love, this is not your one. Honey, thank you all touchy. What we're going to do now is take time out for a quick coffee and, and uh, reflect on what's next. Basically, as long as it's kind of nice and crumbly, what I like to do at the end is just use my fingertips just to finish off, just really lightly, not too much. You don't want the butter to get too warm. Coming up next, we're going to mix this in with the water to start making the dough-like mixture. So make sure you've got your wooden spoon handy. So I need some chilled water straight from the fridge. If I can get my camera crew just to pass that over, please. Thank you, camera crew person. Okay. Now mixing this in, just use a little bit at a time. Because you don't want it too wet and, and, uh, and gluggy, otherwise, man, you're in trouble doing that. So, drop it in there <laughs> just to make sure it's firm like that. Done. Very good. Okay. So, what we do is take our wooden spoon from before. Wooden spoon. Write that down for you. Add a little bit of chilled water at a time, and then just mix it in, just, just slowly, just so it starts to, to combine. And as you start getting quite moist, so 
when you start uh, holding back on the old water there. Okay, so you see, uh, see here, hopefully, that it is starting to, to combine, and it's actually starting to get quite, quite wet. So I'm going to hold off on that water and just get all my dry bits of flour and add those in. Now I'm going to go into the hands. Just got enough water in there. In fact, that might be a little too much. Oh no, perfect. So now it's starting to come all together. You get a little bit of flour. Now this is more of the plain flour. We'll just add that in so it just makes it a little bit easier to handle. And there you go, it's starting to get a bit dry. You can lift it up. It's not getting stuck to you. Okay. Beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Now clear your beach space. Have another coffee. Remember you are a man, and this can be quite taxing on the brain. Here we go, now we're gonna sprinkle this on the beach. Put on our pastry. Okay, right there in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll this or knead it. No, no, we're not. That's uh, spirals. <laughs> okay, we'll start from here. So, just say all you're doing now, bind it, put it together, and play with it. Hey, hey! Because you're playing with it. Okay, you know? okay. Oh, I'm good for making spiral. <laughs> okay, please. 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 Okay, now all we're doing here, we're not going to roll it or. or uh, do anything too much to it, we're just going to combine it, give it a few little turns and presses. Okay, there we go, nice and easy. Now we'll put some glad wrap on it, completely glad wrap it, put it in the fridge, let it chill, and what comes after that is absolutely mind blowing. You do not want to miss it. See you after this. So there we go, it's nice and firm, it's been in the chiller, I've kept it there for an hour, not half an hour, just so it got a little bit firmer, and we're ready to roll into a couple of pies. Now, what I'll do here is, I'll show you how I do a, a couple of uh, pies in the little pie tins, and then leave the fillings up to you. I tend to cut off about a golf ball size, and, and then roll that out like so. Flour the board. Of course you've washed your hands, we all know that. All men take care of their hygiene. Nice rolling pin. If you're a real man, you've got a nice real rolling pin. I like to flour it. Nice and simple and lightly. We're just rolling pastry here. Keep it simple. Okay, and you basically want to end up something along that size, just a little bit bigger than that, because it's all about the size. Okay, here we go. It's not looking too bad, it's actually quite nice. Probably the best one ever in the world, I would say. Okay, once again, we're just a bit bigger than the tin. I'll just put in a bit of, bit of the old uh, uh, spray stuff. I think that's a technical term, spray stuff. A bit of a shake. We bought this just the other day, so it's pretty flash. It's my first use. I get to use it all by my own self. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. I always get told off when I'm by myself. I usually get it all over the floor, and someone goes for a skate. But not today. I got my big boy pants on. This is tough work. I'm gonna need a beer after this, probably. You know, I won't have a beer. I will have, we've got a flash drink here already made. Now let's see if I can say this properly. It is, it is a tropical Tahitian mojito with a twist of mint, if I've said it correctly. Is that, how, how do you say that? Lemon cordial. Lemon cordial. Lemon, uh, nearly. Okay, we'll carry on with this. Just fitting it in the tray with a tin. Kind of folding it in. Not pushing the the, uh, the living hell out of it, just just nice and neatly. A little bit of soft hands. There you go, all the way down in the tray. 
comes over the top, we're going to cut it off over the edge. And all we do, because the edge of the tray has got a nice sharp top, and I'm allowed to touch it, even though it's sharp. Okay, and you just push it a little bit, that's how I do it. Some people do the rolling pin. They're a bit flasher than I am. You just push it down. There you go. Cut around the edge. Beautiful! Make sure you don't um, cut too much off because you like that crust. You want plenty of crust. For your own filling, you put whatever you like in there. You put uh, baked beans or, or spaghetti. Um, I've just uh, rustled up uh, a little bit of garlic, rosemary, uh, poached chicken, and we'll put a little bit of um, uh, potato and uh, mashed pumpkin on top of that. You know, like, like you do, you just kind of rustle it up. Or possibly my wife did it last night. So we'll put that in there. We'll bung them in the oven for uh, about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes on, on a certain heat on 200. On 200 for about 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them, obviously. And that is our pastry and our lesson for the day, just for the guys. So, there we go, lunch. Nice fresh made pie, beautiful and hot, and a pre-made salad. Now, I've got to admit, it uh, wasn't me who made the salad. It's a little bit flash for me. We're going to go and enjoy this just in time. Fury Chef is back, so I get to do all the dishes probably. Yeah, be yeah, awesome. Uh, enjoy. Next week, what are we making? Good question. Haven't decided yet, so we'll have to wait till next week. Okay. And that's it.